Let's come to junior 10th. From today onwards, you are going to call as junior 10th. Means you enter in 10th class. From today onwards, you are going to study and you are going to know about the 10th syllabus and the 10th chapters and the 10th class, everything. Yes. 10th class is the biggest turning point in your life. It's the biggest turning point. After 10th class, uh, end of the 10th class, you are going to get one certificate. It is the one and only certificate for your entire 13 years school education. It is the one and only proof of your school experience. So, these 10th class certificate must be has more weight. How marks list will be get more weight? Because of your marks. If you get good marks, your mark list will be more weight. If you get less marks, the mark list will get less weight. So, you should be made your mark list more weight. Then, your life also will be more weightage wherever you go. Automatically after graduation, any graduation, any BTEC or MBBS or any graduation, you are going to enter in your life. Searching for jobs at that time, definitely you may attend any interviews. In your interviews, they will ask first, show me your 10th mark list. If you see the 10th class mark list, how should they feel? To see your mark list. If it is a more weight, they will feel very happy. If it is a very less weight, they want to prefer to you to take the jobs. So, you should make your mark list a more weight. Right? For that purpose only, from today onwards, almost at the end of your last exam, you should maintain, okay. Okay, you should maintain the same interest. And the same tempo also. Very, very important. Because 10th class is biggest turning point in your entire life journey. When you are uh, driving or no, bike riding anywhere, any turns will come. What will you do at that time? Take care. You will take care more. Otherwise, Accident may happen. That's why it is also like that. The biggest turning point. You should be careful. If you take the turning carefully, your life will be very happy. If you carelessly take the turning, your life may not be happy. So you should make your life be happy. So you should don't neglect any subject. And don't waste any time. Always, every minute, if you utilize to get more marks, wherever you are, whether in a classroom, or dormitories, even at the playgrounds, wherever you are, you should think about how to get more marks. Then, you can gain more marks. That's useful for your future. Right? School education is just like a foundation of your entire life building. Any uh, building, foundation must be strong. For example, this three-story building, maybe 10 or 15 feet the foundation is there. If it is a strong, this building will be strong for long period. If it is a weak, building may collapse at any time. Like that. Your school education is just like a foundation of your 90 years life building. This school education should be a strong your 90 years life building. Automatically, it should be strong. You should make like that. Otherwise, that 90 years your life will spoil. If it is a foundation is weak, your life will be spoiled. So, don't neglect this 10th class and don't waste time in this 10th class. And whatever you get, the marks in the 10th class, 
that marks will give inspiration to next classes in intermediate or like the 12th classes definitely you will get some confidence on yourself yes i have that knowledge i have that interest you get that much confidence when you see your marks automatically that interest that intelligence you know, that tempo will be continued for next classes also even it continue for entire life also so you can make your life very happy because of your effort only in this tenth class right so so many students up to ninth class very weak students but in tenth class they motivated either teachers or by the teachers or the by parents or by the by anywhere but from tenth class onwards they studied well and now project they are in high positions so many are there like that okay you should make your life and after tenth class also for example now you are in yes tenth class but this is your goal yes you must keep on goal for your entire life goal is must till today if you don't have any goal you should keep on goal any goal right and always think about how to reach my goal first step by step you can reach your goal step by step if you success in your life you can reach your goal for example in 10th class this is the first step if you get good marks in 10th class automatically you go to second step this first step will give inspiration to your second step if you get good marks in second step then you go to the third step in graduation level <coughs> these two steps will give inspiration to you in graduation level any graduation automatically you will continue this tempo even in graduation also after that automatically you can reach your goal so one by one steps if you reach successfully then you can reach your right goal it must be a high not simple goal the goal must be high level don't keep a small goals but mark mark and set live simply think high level live simply think high level like that should keep a goal high level then you can step by step you can reach your goals finally you can reach your goal and you can settle in your life and your life should be very beautiful your family members will happy and your next your children and entire family is happy at the same time everybody will reach like this goal entire country will be developed our country also no everybody is happy so in tenth class don't waste time every minute every second to think about how to get good marks in tenth class for every exam you should keep on goal tenth class is your goal first day you should keep on goal how many marks you are goal in tenth class for example out of 500 how many marks you are the goal you should keep a goal that should be high for example 490 because it is a one of the top section in our school so you should keep this is your goal this is minimum marks no out of 500 everybody should try to get 490 that is your goal in every exam every uh, test every subject you should try to get as this marks then you can reach your goal in 10th class so this marks will give inspiration to you because you know how to get it how you prepared each and every subject you know that automatically we can continue that preparation and the tempo even next classes also intermediate also then we can continue once you reach your goal highest marks in subjects then you will never come back again because you know how to do hard work to get that marks So automatically, you will continue that hard work. You can reach your marks. This is your goal, your section goal. Last student also, yes, should try to get this is marks. This is the minimum marks to your section. For 90 out of 500, everybody was trying to. Every exam from the beginning, each and every chapter, 
and every line don't neglect it and you should think not only by heart don't by heart all this try to write your own that's very important by hearting answers and uh, uh, writing in examinations is everybody everybody do it but understanding the concept that's very important any subject you should understand the concept then you should write try to write your own that's very important right this is very important and for example if you do more hard work you'll get 98% success if you do more if you have more knowledge you'll get 98% success but if you have good attitude good attitude you'll get 100% success you know how these words came one day i said in class also hard work h e r d w r k hard work if you add all these letters you get 98 total the same type knowledge k o w e l e d g e knowledge add the letters you get 99 but attitude a t t i t i t u t e t u d e attitude if you add all the letters you get 100% so if you have good attitude you get 100% success hard work is not enough knowledge only not enough but good attitude also is very really important good attitude includes knowledge and hard work and behavior the hair style dressing style sitting style everything including this attitude if you have good attitude definitely you get 100% success that's very important right uh, nowadays for example from our state every year one and a half lakh engineering graduates are coming out every year from our 365 engineering colleges but only 32 40000 students are getting jobs why remaining are not getting jobs because of two reasons are there one is communication skills lack of communication skills they are unable to get speak at least 5 minutes on the stage about any topic even though they got 80 85 percent in their subjects but they are unable to speak so that's why they are not getting any jobs that's one reason second reason good attitude lack of good attitude so this attitude includes knowledge hard work everything so behavior everything so you should develop this good attitude also without a good attitude no body should not get any good job so this attitude also very important to get good job to set in your life no you can make your life beautiful with good attitude if you think good and do good automatically your attitude will be developed right so this is a small example so from today onwards you should try to think about your first goal tenth class what is your goal this is your goal right how to get these marks okay all the best everyone thank you